Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Welcome to the web app pen testing series. Uh, this video is uh, going to be an introduction to the series and we'll be essentially taking a look at what we'll be covering during the series, right? So uh, as we actually complete or wind up the Windows and Linux exploitation and privilege escalation series, we can actually move on to the next series that's uh, part of the pen testing bootcamp, uh, the pen testing bootcamp, and that of course is web app pen testing, right? So I thought, why not, you know, start it and uh, you know start covering the fundamentals and uh, start taking a look at uh, you know the various vulnerabilities uh, in regards to web. Uh, and again, this uh, just to to actually differentiate this with the bug bounty series that will be starting on that will be actually uh, you know starting off later on during the year, this series aims to introduce you to web app pen testing and vulnerabilities. Uh, once you know you actually complete this, then the, the bug bounty course or series will start making sense. All right, so uh, let's get started firstly by taking a look at what we'll be covering. So we'll start off by you know getting an introduction to HTTP and HTTPS. Uh, so the next video will probably be you know getting started with uh, HTTP and understanding how it works and understanding requests and responses, the various methods, as well as HTTP headers. Um, once we have a good understanding of that, we can then move on to proxies. So we'll be taking a look at, uh, you know, Burp Suite and OWASP Zap and how to use them in the context of web app pen testing. And that will be an ongoing process as we go through uh, the rest of these uh, sections. Uh, we'll then move on to information gathering and fingerprinting. So this you can typically classify as uh, web app recon. Uh, once we've covered recon, we'll then move on to web app vulnerability scanning. Right. So we're going to be taking a look at how to identify vulnerabilities within web applications through various scanners. And also we'll also be exploring a few manual techniques. We'll then move on to authentication security. That's, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We'll, once that is done, we'll move on to cross-site scripting. Uh, so cross-site scripting attacks, how they work, taking a look at the various types of cross-site scripting attacks and tools uh, that can be used to identify cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. We'll then move on to SQL injection, which is uh, really my favorite uh, section within this series, or not really. I, I actually like command injection a lot because it actually involves, uh, you know, a running code on the server so i'm more of a, a host based uh, attacks type of guy uh, but i also like the web so this is also going to be very exciting for me once we've taken a look at uh, sql injection we'll then move on to cross-site request forgery so csrf and uh, then move on to command injection file upload vulnerabilities api endpoints and finally content management systems and how to you know uh, essentially identify vulnerabilities within them how to exploit them how they work all of that good stuff. So um, again, for each of these sections, we'll be taking a look at, uh, you know, what those vulnerabilities are, I'll be explaining them in depth. And then we'll take a look at the tools that can be used to facilitate these attacks. Uh, and of course, if it is completely manual, then of course, we'll take a look at how to uh, essentially, you know, exploit these vulnerabilities manually. Now, I haven't yet decided on the, you know, the set of applications that I'll be performing most of these demonstrations on. I think I'll be switching between various uh, applications and setups. Uh, and uh, the reason I'm going to be doing that is to show you, you know, uh, to, to essentially showcase uh, how different the web can be in terms of the application, the type of application that you're dealing with. So I'm not only going to be sticking with you know, your PHP based uh, web applications, we're also going to be taking a look at .NET applications, uh, Python web apps, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff that we'll be covering. Now, as I said, this will fit into our, you know, our weekly upload schedule. Now, I know I, I didn't upload a video last week, primarily because I was setting up uh, the series that will be, you know, will actually be going through for the first quarter of this year. And our, our objective is to actually complete the Windows Privilege Escalation series this week. And uh, we'll then move on to Linux Privilege Escalation. And uh, we can then, you know, start focusing on web app pen testing full time. Uh, and of course, that will also coincide with a few other new series that uh, I'll be working on, but will be released probably at the end of Q1. Uh, but as we move along, as I said, there's lots of new series that we'll be covering and we'll be covering web quite a bit during this year primarily because a lot of you guys have been requesting it and also because it's, I think, uh, quite important. And there's also going to be an exciting web app uh, series where I'll, I'll essentially be taking you through my bug bounty journey 
as I've actually gotten into bug bounties again. And so that will also coincide uh, and will sort of uh, complement this series and vice versa. Um, so with that being said, we can actually uh, get started with the series. So the next video will probably be an introduction to HTTP and we'll take it from there. So let me know what you guys think. If you want me to add more sections to this, uh, do let me know. I'll uh, find a way of including them within this. If you want me to cover individual tools or specific vulnerabilities, I can also do that as well. So I'd love to hear what your feedback is on this. And yeah, that's really all I wanted to say as an introduction. I hope you guys are excited. I am excited, uh, really, really excited for this. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video. A huge thank you to all of our Patreons. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. And this is a formal thank you. So thank you, Shamir Douglas, Ryan Carr, Sandor, Michael Busby, Sid Saab, Doozy, Dafim Bari, Dustin Umpress, and Michael Hubbard. Your support is greatly appreciated and you keep us making even more high quality content for you guys. So thank you.